So I want to um, talk about the theme today of how we can train our thinking. So obviously in yoga, we train our bodies, that's very clear. But a very important part of yoga is that we're training ourselves to think. And we can do different things with our thinking. On the one hand, we can observe, our thinking can become a kind of silent spectator of our actions. And another thing that we can do is we can learn to really create very clear mental pictures with our thinking. And a third thing that we can do is that we can use our thinking as a, a tool with which we can guide our actions. We could say with our thinking, we can guide our will to, to carry out our actions. So I'd like to bear these three things in mind this morning, training our thinking to observe, to picture and to guide. So I'd like to start, first of all, with the circle of the heart. You can, you can do this one in a kneeling position. You can kneel up like that if it's more comfortable, or you can simply kneel down on your heels. What's important is that your spine is really upright and that your head is really free. And this is an exercise in which we create a really clear mental picture of a circle. The circle is here. And we can start just by taking our hands up to the top of our, the circle we're about to create. And then we create it with our thinking. I think you will know this exercise so we can do it together. Let's start by really creating the circle until it exists as a thought form in the, in the space in front of us. And then we can touch the edges of the circle with our hands. We can feel the circle very, very clearly present in the space in front of us. And just rest your hands in your lap. Let's just remain with the idea that this circle exists as a thought form in front of us. It's still there. We remain thinking it. Let's do the exercise again, remaining with the idea that the thought is something different from the movement. The thought comes first. The movement is just an expression of the thought. Let's take the hands up to the top again. Just think the circle. We create it as a thought form. And we allow the hands to form the movement in a very free and natural way. The movement is just the expression of the thought which already exists. The circle exists as a thought form. And then you can rest your hands again on your lap. So do you like to come up to a standing position? So we'll come to the sun prayer and we'll create some other thought forms of a guiding line, of a, a flowing line. Let's take the hands to the heart center 
and take the arms up above the head. Let's just pause in this position and remain with a very free head. Our thinking can observe, it can become a silent spectator. Let's take the hands down and just bend down and hang forwards, keeping the head free. The thinking can become an observing spectator of our body. Take the right foot back. Let's form this half moon bowl. Once again, the head is very free. The thinking can become a spectator. Just take the arms up, keeping the head really free. Then take the hands down, come into the plank and make sure that the head still feels free from the body or heels lengthen backwards. Take the knees down, hollow the back, chest and face down. And then open into the cobra, keeping the head high and free. The thinking is a spectator. Push into the downward dog. A long spine, but remain aware that with your thinking, you're observing like a spectator. Take the right foot forward. Forming this base with the legs. Rising up, the head staying free, sitting on top of your spine, the spectator. And the other foot forward, looking down towards the ground. And then a free movement upwards into the standing half moon, again, keeping the head free so that you have that sense of just observing your own body and take the hands by your sides. <clears throat> we'll do the other side. Let's remain with this same idea, that with our thinking, we can just be this freely observing spectator. As we grow a little bit more in the solar plexus, coming down, keeping that head free to really observe. Left foot back, forming the base. Rising up, the head can observe and be the spectator. Come into the plank, good firm line. Take the knees down, hollow the back, face down. Open into the cobra. Push into the downward dog. Left foot forward. Head high and free, observing the body. Other foot forward. Come swinging up, firm feet, head free, growing from the middle and take the hands down. We'll do a second round. And let's take the idea that our thinking can act as this guide. It can really guide the willpower from the solar plexus. It can guide an active lift. So let's take the hands together with our thinking. We can really take hold of our willpower and guide it upwards more actively this time. Come down, growing down. Right foot back, form a good base with the legs, take the arms up and now with your thinking, you actively guide your willpower to grow a bit more. Then come into the plank, take the knees down, hollow the back, face down and slide along the ground, open into the cobra, just remain clear with the thinking and see if you can open up a little bit further. Then triangle, three thinking, a little bit more into the stretch now. Right foot forward. Take the arms up. Now guide the willpower so you 
Stretch the body further out of the solar plexus. Other foot forward, looking down. And then rising up, keep the head free. And then we can guide our willpower from the third center, hands down, hands together, rising up. Grow from the solar plexus. Take the hands down, lengthening, left foot back, base with the legs. Take the arms up and now guide a lift from the willpower. And then come into the plank, knees down, chest and face. Cobra, and guiding up a little further. Triangle and a long stretch. Left foot forward. Come up and now grow a little bit more. And then the other foot forward. Looking down and come up once again, free head and grow from the center and right the way up, our hands down. So we'll come into a position, we don't do that often, we'll come to the dancer. And the dancer is a, another exercise where we can grow from the solar plexus. Let's first of all create um, a clear thought about this position. So in this position, we have two directions. We have a movement down and we have a movement up. We can create that mental picture, the mental picture that we have a center and out of that center, the body lengthens in two directions. So let's come into this position. First of all, just taking the ankle with your hand on the same side. And now make your mental picture. The starting point is the solar plexus. You can guide your leg down and back a little bit, not pulling with the arm, it's the leg itself. And then you can make that mental picture of a growth upwards. And then you can guide the body into that movement that you've just pictured. Two directions of growth. And then return again. Take the other ankle. Be aware of that solar plexus center. Let's create our first mental picture of the downward growth. We think it and then we take hold with the body and we guide it. Then the upward growth from the middle, thinking the movement and guiding it into that stretch. The thinking takes an active part, the body carries it out. Come back down again and just roll down and hang. Firm feet and legs, head relaxed, observing. The head is the observer, the spectator. And then come back up to the standing half moon in a free stretch upwards and come back down. Let's do the dancer once again and see if we can intensify the contrasts a little bit more. We can bring a greater centering into this solar plexus region and a greater growth in the two directions. Same procedure, the head creates the mental picture and then guides the movement. Take the ankle with the hand. You can take the other arm up just lightly to start with. Make your mental picture. We want growth out of the center in two directions. Then in a focused way, you can take hold of the body and you can grow backwards into the leg, upwards through the spine, 
lengthening more and more. Return again, taking the foot down. And the other side, take hold of the ankle. Just take the arm lightly up and now create your mental picture, a good centering activity in the middle of the back. Free breath. Once you have the picture, with your thinking, you take hold of your will and you guide the leg backwards, the spine upwards, increasing the intensity. The middle of the back becomes really centered and the body lengthens. And then return again. Foot down once again. Roll down and hang. And come back up to the standing half moon. Growing a little bit more. And take the hands down. Let's come next to the twisted triangle. So you can take your feet a good meter apart or a little bit more, depending on the length of your legs. And let's first of all come into the pyramid. With the pyramid, we can experience the threefold structure and this creates space for our thinking. We've got the firm base, We've got a very light movement upwards with the arms, very light and free. With that, the head is very free. And in the middle, the solar plexus, we can feel an active stretching. Let's just become a, take, let's let our thinking take on this observing role in this position. We observe the threefold structure, the base, the growing center and the free upper region and take the hands down. Let's come into the forward bend, gliding out forwards with your hands, still keeping the legs really firm, stretching out in the middle of your back and then letting the hands glide freely forwards without weight on them but the weight is really on your feet so that you're, you can stretch actively from your middle of your spine and keep the hands quite relaxed. Good stretching in the middle of your back and also the backs of your legs. Then relax down again and swing freely back up to this pyramid position. Stretch a little bit more and take the hands down. Let's do another preparation for the twisted triangle. Let's just simply take the arms out wide into this openness so that we can experience that sense of expansiveness that corresponds to the character of this position, wide reaching out. You can picture that you have on the left, a mile of space. On the right, a mile of space. Picture your body being spanned out into that space. And then relax again. So let's just come down into this active stretching out so that the back lengthens and your arms are still widely stretched and come back up again. We need to really get a little bit more willpower operating now for the actual twist itself. Our thinking takes hold of our willpower, which is centered at the solar plexus and guides it quite actively into the twist. So we can have a lift from the solar plexus and come all the way down when you're ready, right the way into the position streaming up to look up at the top hand. Then come back again, wide movement out to the sides, 
Be aware that your thinking guides. You take hold from the middle and you swing round to the other side, looking up at the top hand, breath flowing. Come back up again. Our thinking guides the willpower. It takes hold of the willpower. Once again, lift and swing freely round and then come up even further, stretching to look up at that top hand. Come back again, wide open movement with the arms. The thinking guides the will. Lift and come all the way down to the other side, looking upwards, breath flowing. And then come back up again and take the hands down. So I'd like to work towards the bow as our final position this morning. Would you like to lie on your front? The bow is a very good example of an exercise where our thinking takes hold of our willpower from the solar plexus. The solar plexus is the center of the activity. Let's um, first of all start with some preparatory movements. You can take your hands to point backwards and you can raise one leg up off the ground like that. But with your mental picturing, you can imagine that the movement starts not just from your hip, but from the solar plexus itself. It flows all the way back. Let's come back down. Change over to the other side. Think of the solar plexus. Picture the movement coming all the way back from that region, up and back through the leg. And then back down again. Right, let's, this time, raise the hands. We're going to picture the movement coming up through the upper region of the body from the solar plexus. Growing up, picture the movement opening out through the upper spine so that your chest is opened out forwards. And come back down again. This time, take your legs quite wide apart, bend the knees, just point backwards with the hands once again. We'll do the same thing from the solar plexus growing upwards through the upper spine. We can picture a centering in at the solar plexus region on the back. Come back down again. It gets a little bit more difficult. Take your right hand forwards Take hold of your left ankle with your left hand. Just straighten out the right leg. Now the mental picturing becomes really important here because if we don't mentally picture properly, we end up just tugging the leg with the arm. So we need to picture the movement happening through the lower back and through the leg itself. The arm is just the string of the bow. And in that way, you can grow up and back with your back leg. Come back down again. Change over to the other side. Straighten out the left arm and leg. Take hold of the right ankle with the right hand. Now make a clear mental picture from the solar plexus. You grow backwards through the lower back and through the leg. If the picturing is clear, you can do the movement correctly. The head stays on the ground. And come back down again. Let's just push back into child's pose before we come to do the actual bow. Now 
Right, so would you like to lie on your front once again? So with the bow, we have clear thinking directed towards the solar plexus. And we picture the movement that grows out in the two directions, a bit like we did when we did the dance earlier on. So from the center, we have the growth backwards, first of all, through the legs. And then upwards through the upper spine. Clear mental picture. And then the thinking takes hold of the will. You can come into it whenever you're ready. Let's come down once again. Just have a little rest. And while you're resting, you can make your mental picture for the second time of doing it. You can picture, like we did with the dancer, an increased intensity of the movement, a really centered contraction in the solar plexus region at your back, and a greater extent of growth upwards through first the legs and then the upper spine. So when we pictured this movement, you take hold of the ankles once again, and you direct your thinking to the middle of the back, and then you direct that growth upwards through the legs and upwards through the thoracic spine. Just have a little pause. We can continue the process. Again, taking our thinking and using it to guide the movement out of the willpower from the center of the back, a little bit higher, still into the legs, and a little bit further through the upper spine as well. Keep breathing. Let's see if we can do one more little burst of increase from the center, backwards through the legs even more, Upwards through the spine even more. Keep breathing. And then come down again. And you can push back into child's pose. and come back up. Let's finish off with one final exercise that needs quite a lot of willpower. We'll do the sitting balance and we'll do it for 30 seconds. So I'll take my watch off so I can see it. Do you like to take your hands right up above your head? We need a lot of mind over matter for this one, but it's predominantly a will kind of exercise, but nonetheless, we can think of this form, we can think of this very upright growth through the upper body as if the um, chest is lifted up high and the legs too, as you know, will be lifted up into this position. So when you're ready, straighten up your back, right the way through the arms, right up through to the fingertips, and then take your legs up into the air. We'll hold it for 30 seconds. Breath flowing freely. The thinking remains aware of this clear V-shaped form rising up through the spine, right up through to the arms. The legs also stretching out. Just five more seconds. And then come back down and come up to a sitting position. So we've worked this morning on how we can train our thinking. On the one hand, our thinking can observe. On the other hand, it can make mental pictures. And thirdly, it can guide our willpower. It can take hold and guide our willpower into the clearly pictured form. 
Let's finish our session there.